Who are these woven women? If you lived during the golden age of Norwegian tapestry from roughly the late 1500s to the early 1700s, you would recognize them. Most of the colorful tapestries woven in Norway during this period conveyed religious messages. Many bridal coverlets featured the parable of the wise and foolish virgins with two rows of women. Wise virgins in the top row hold their lamps aloft. They were prudent and saved their oil. In the bottom row, foolish virgins hold handkerchiefs to wipe their tears. In a less literate age, religious symbols held instructions for life. In this parable, the virgins are waiting for the bridegroom. That might be their betrothed, or it could refer to Jesus Christ. You would want to be the wise, moral, and prepared young woman, ready with her lamp filled with oil. You wouldn't want to be one of the five foolish virgins, out of oil and out of luck, when the bridegroom appears. This message would resonate with a young woman about to be married. She was likely leaving home for the first time, leaving her family to marry and move to a new farm. Many responsibilities awaited her, and it was a time when childbirth was difficult. The virgin parable exhorted her to be virtuous, God-fearing, and prepared, a serious message for a serious time in a young woman's life. As this popular image was copied and recopied through the years, it became more and more abstract. Everyone knew the story. You didn't even need the lamps and the handkerchiefs. Half the virgins are upside down in this tapestry, and two figures ride horses between the rows. You didn't even need to weave all the virgins. Only two virgins appear on this cushion cover, but everyone knew the point of the story. Look at this wavy version from the west coast of Norway. The virgin's crowns almost morph into beanies. The ladies in this row look neither wise nor foolish. And have the crowns of these virgins exploded? In the 20th century, the wise and foolish virgins continued to be woven. The original meaning faded and the image became a celebration of pattern and color and history, a look back to an iconic Norwegian tapestry pattern from long ago. Virgins were not only woven, this is a pattern that was sold for needlework on canvas. In the 1970s, Elsa Marie Jakobsen from Kristiansand, Norway, wove a monumental tapestry that paid homage to unknown weavers of the past and to talented 20th century weavers. I think this is a foolish virgin, dejectedly holding her handkerchief. Norwegian weaver Hilde Opedal Nordby was attracted by this abstracted virgin tapestry. Defiant-looking virgins hold their hands on their hips with no handkerchiefs or lamps. Nordby wove her virgins on a computerized TC2 loom. She interprets the virgins as staunch women, part of something larger, women who gain strength and knowledge from one another. Part of the joy of working in a folk art technique is understanding traditional work and its symbolism. A solid grounding in history adds to your enjoyment and can be a launching pad to contemporary expression and interpretation. Priscilla Lynch includes historical virgins, a modern day wise virgin, and a not so prudent foolish virgin in her tapestry. The foolish virgin has wonderful crown-like hair. Bjorg Christiansen White from Norway wove a virgin tapestry in combination with rag rug stripes. She didn't even need the full virgins, just a strip of lamps and a stripe of handkerchiefs. She titled it, Is it Permitted to Joke About the Virgins? And finally, here's a modern story about the virgins. A few years ago, Kari Rona from Norway began designing virgin mittens. She wrote that a few people who are knowledgeable about art history and textiles recognize the famous tapestry pattern, but almost no one knows there is a Christian story behind them. 
Norwegians these days don't know Bible history well, she added. In her celebration of the pattern, I think she's delivering only one message. Keep warm. Hello, I'm sitting in front of my upright tapestry loom, warped and ready for a new project. This is the same sort of loom that has been used by tapestry weavers for centuries. And here, is the virgin that I wove in Norway in weaving school many years ago. Although when I wove it, I wove it on its side. I can assure you that after listening to my short video that you know way more about the virgin image than I did when I wove it. So thanks very much for listening. Mm -hmm.